So you know what it's saying today? What? What? Top corner. What's wrong? What's wrong, Sarah? There's a spider. <laughs> get it, uh, get it, get it, get it. She is scared of spiders. Yeah, kill it. Looks quite small in the camera, but it's actually a decent size. Yeah, kill it. So my missus likes to kill spiders. Ah, and I like to save them. No, ah. saving it. They just keep coming back. No, no. You're just smashing me life out. No, sir. Oh, it's moved he, fast. He's on the run now. I can barely see him with my bloody one. Mac is fine. It's not if he comes and crawls in your, your ear in the middle of the night and then up your nose and lays eggs in your head and you die. Who's a drama queen now? It can happen. Look how far away she is. Look, look how far away she is. Do you want to see her scared? Do you want to see her scared? Ooh, Sarah. Oh, he did to get out, he's vanished. Fucking <laughs> There's a couple of bin bags, don't worry, we're going to skip today. It's safe again, sir. You can come out from behind the chair. You stop me. What are you like? Legs. Well, I better not tell you when it's above your head in the corner. <laughs> no, no, just, I don't trust you. I'm not going to do it. It's a bit dark in this bit, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. I, need, I got new bulbs, I just haven't put them in yet. You can go. Okay, I forgot. I'm like, I'm <laughs> too distracted. Um, yeah, okay, so, <laughs> hi guys. Um, welcome back. Uh, for those of you who don't know, my name is Sarah, and for those of you who do, hi! <laughs> uh, yeah, so today our plan is to clear the little shed. If you've been watching, you know that we are, we, I am trying <laughs> to clear the backlog. Well, he keeps adding to it. Um, so today, instead of just dealing with the bits and bobs lying about, we are going to just go into the small shed, just pull every single piece of stock we have out of it, tidy up the small shed, um, dump everything in the big shed and then when we're in the big shed we'll either list and we'll list and go through all the stuff at the same time so we can go right this can be listed this cannot be listed it needs to go in a bundle and then we will st stack that nice and neatly hopefully it'll stay that way that <laughs> into the small shed <laughs> so that way we have all our stock in one place and we can just try and hopefully get the faster the big shed's going to be a riot today yeah the big shed's going to be a riot and to make things worse look at the weather it's pissing down Yep. That was. Well, it says it looks like it's seen the stop. Maybe spitting a little. Oh, it's but it was heavy rain not long ago. ago. Yeah. So. So that is our plan, and then hopefully we can finish a video we started about three freaking decades ago, where we said, "Look, we'll show you when we tidy." We still have not tidied. <laughs> but we're not tidying. We're making more of a mess today. Yes, yeah, so but I said eventually yeah. we'll hopefully be able to finish it because we're actually getting the stock. And now she's right. okay. Yeah. Now I'm just talking shit again. Um. Will we be doing an update at the end, or is this us just... Yeah, we'll always do an update. Okay, so we will be doing an update in a little bit, so we'll see you then. So this is the shed in the corner, which is a bit of a mess. This is a pair of clothes that need washed or repaired. Um, that needs listed, that's a trouser press. Behind it there's a dark room photo projector thing or something. Let's see. That needs done, that needs listed. For Christmas, got three bags of clothing somewhere there. This has got a bit of everything in it from leftovers from the auction house. I'll start your list. There's a lot of tools though behind there, which need somehow put away somewhere. I'm thinking about in the summer building shelves from that wardrobe to there to give us a little space for a, a lawnmower hanging down at the side, and then maybe a bit of extra stock or somebody to put some of the tools or something like that. And Sarah's bringing stuff in for the other shed to decide if they're going to list it or dump it. I'm dumping it all here anyway. So, I was trying not to get in the way while you're doing the video. And <laughs> it's pissing down as well. Watch well, you don't fall, see it's wet out there. So we'll just bring everything in and dump it and give you an update at the end. Cell's already started emptying. So it's a little bit clearer but we'll give you a look at the end.
Wow, what a space, you can actually walk in, not get a wee tour. So, this is our peanuts. Um, more packaging supplies. Don't know if you remember, but this was full of some death pile along there. Spare lids for the plastic boxes. So in the boxes are like bubble wrap, oil bags, more bubble wrap. Top shelves get foam, some foam wrap, newspapers, UPS boxes, some um, leftover, it's got foil, thermal foil for when we did our shed. We might actually use that as packing or sell it because it'll be expensive packaging. And this is full of death pile, this is all empty. It's empty corners. Just empty boxes now. Then the bottom shelf is empty as well. The only thing that we've kept in here is this. We got the, donated this by a family member, it's a Fidelity LP player. Um, we don't have speakers to test it and it's missing a plug and inside this is a PC so this is a PC from our son's bedroom we got my new one so we don't know if we're going to put that in our shed to list so we need to check the specs in both computers and see what one's the better computer this is just a big TV box that was donated by our brother-in-law and these are just boxes that are made up that we've not flat packed so next time we sell something we'll be using these three boxes and there's a couple of boxes inside that as well and this is smaller cardboard boxes up top um, deep in that corner past the shelf for the shelf ends in there we've got big large boxes and these are medium sized these squares rectangles and even the second bottom shelf is one of those it's in this box down here let's see what's in this box oh my god I can't get my fingers in Ouch! Don't know what that's doing down there. Another empty box. Shove up there. Felt heavy there, it was just jammed. So the bottom shelf is empty and we'll need to get some boxes when the weather picks up a little so they're not soaking wet. So we're okay for boxes I think. Um, in that corner is a bit empty so we need to get some big boxes like the big crisp boxes you get. And in this here, it's just our Royal packaging supplies if you open this up, you see the green labels. You get these three, the Royal Mail as well if you get a business account, it's handy for putting like, jewellery in, stuff like that. Get quite a lot of them in there. I think it's Christmas cards, birthday cards, lots of zip ties. I've been in here for ages, some gift bags. Ouch. <laughs> More gift bags and probably cards at the bottom shelf. So as you can see we're getting there. And now I'll show you the big shed, which is a bit of a flipping mess. Oh. Oh. We've had dope now, so I can show them in a bit more light. So, this is everything that can make that shed. And I know it makes this place a bit harder, especially when my picking and packing orders from that corner but we just want to get through it as much as possible decide what we're bidding, what we're donating and what we're listing so these two boxes are full of DVDs, baby stuff um, Wii's which we haven't listed because there's no controllers for them even though they're working Barbie cars get dolls somewhere that should have been listed in the summer, that's a picnic bag needs a good clean night, looks as if stuff's just spilt on it so we'll give that a clean Probably when we do that, it'll probably be sitting in that corner until the summer. Your VHS players, DVD players, scanners, vintage basketball, which is kind of cool. Off that out, I think it's cost 50 pence. Um, Spalding Magic Johnson, Spalding Basketball. Some of the writing's rubbed off, but hopefully she still fetch okay money. We've actually sold all the basketballs, so we had quite a few of them. And this one for some reason didn't get listed, I think it was because it was flat, but it feels full now. It just, just hasn't been listed for some reason. We found some high pot of Lego we didn't even know we had, we forgot. And there's a few bags of clothing in there as well. Some baby stuff that was donated by a family, which is quite large. So, go about this for ages. Bags of clothing down there. Auction house stuff in there. Do we have anything else? That's all our wires. So I know I've got some like, um, elderly clocks which sell quite well for us 
but they're missing adapters, so I found a couple of adapters in that pile. So I need to test them. That they boxes are full of what figurines, aren't they? Uh, no, a bit of everything. clocks, everything, toys. Is that, a, is that all a death pile? Just that in that corner? Everyone that's in here is a death pile, yeah. But is there anything else hidden under the shelves? No, they're all dorbs. Dorbs, oh yeah, don't get me to that with dorbs. We bought a pallet full of them and they just don't sell. <sighs> so, all that shit there. And it's not just there, it goes all the way along. There's one bit with 200 dorbs under there that just aren't going. Um, any more dorbs anywhere? Is there some no. in that corner still or do you move No, them? no, we put them all in tops underneath. So, all the dolls in the bottom shelf. So from that corner, all the way to that corner, it's full of dobs And a couple of high pot of Funkos. And up there's some toys that just don't seem to be shifting for some reason, so maybe I have to check prices on them. And Pepper the Pig, some dobs, some Funkos over there, Overwatch. Board games are in that corner. So, that's a little update done, I think. Yep. So, if you want to say, sir, so the, the rules are reversed today? Ah, uh, no. Nope, Papa, you're standing in front of the camera. Yeah. No, that is everything that we haven't listed, apart from that giant pain in the ass bill in my living room full of cycling tops. <laughs> but no, that's everything. You look so happy about that. And yeah. It's not as if we could stop coming, we should be okay for stop. <clears throat> yeah, it's not like we get mm. £500 worth of crap coming. It's not crap, it's just annoying because it's so much stuff in Yeah, but we're hoping to get ready through all that at Christmas, if not we're going to bin a lot of it. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> watch this space come January. Let's hope this place looks different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just have to do some long hours in here over November and December. Yeah. So let's do a Christmas shop and get organised. Decorate the bedroom. Oh, oh right, I forgot, I forgot more, there's more stuff here. All those bricks need sorted and put this lamp over here rather than that death pair because of the fragile hands. This is, um, what is it, Neil? This one? No, I'm in. Yeah, Neil lamp. We did have a cello one and it sold for decent money, but this one's got a little bit damaged. So I was speaking to my friend who's an who's a electrician and he's going to put a wee switch on it, hopefully for me. And then this, we've got listed for around 40 pounds, 40 to 60, depending on how many is listed currently of that design. So that's it. We'll see you soon. Okay. Hi guys, so we said we would give you an update after you've seen the big massive pigsty that we made. Um, we would be doing this in the shed, but it doesn't actually look any different because we took the weekend off. I know, it's bad. We pulled all that stock out because we were so motivated. And then it was Friday and Putsy was on and it was the weekend. And yeah, we got kind of lazy. <laughs> so we took the whole weekend off and... We are going to restart today. So hopefully the next time I do a video in the shed, that big pile will be a lot smaller. <laughs> um, I can't remember if we were going to talk about anything else except for the riot that we made. Um, okay, <laughs> so so yes, we were lazy. Um, but it's Monday again and we are going to we are gonna get in there and we're gonna we're gonna list. <sighs> yeah, if I tell myself that it makes me look <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I believe it, but if I keep saying it, you know, maybe I will. <laughs> so anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, think about giving us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, think about subscribing and hitting that bell button so you get more of our videos. Until next time, or tomorrow probably, because it's still November. Um, thanks for watching, guys.